If there are codes, if all codes could be cracked, then we'd be in pretty bad shape <laughs> because all national secrets, all kinds of things would be available to just about anyone. And so... The Unbreakable Crypto's Code, the CIA's Unsolved Mystery, a puzzle hidden in plain sight at the heart of one of the world's most secretive organizations, the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. There was a mystery that stands in enigma that has baffled cryptographers, amateurs, and professionals alike for decades. We are the Central Intelligence Agency. There was a cryptographic puzzle that was carefully constructed as a part of a sculpture that stands in the CIA's headquarters courtyard in Langley, Virginia. This mystery is known as Cryptos. The sculpture isn't just a piece of art. It's a riddle, a challenge to decode messages that have been hidden in plain sight for over 30 years. While parts of Cryptos have been deciphered, one final section remains unsolved, a final passage that has yet to surrender its secrets. The sculpture created by artist Jim Sanborn is no ordinary artwork. It was designed with a specific purpose, to challenge the intelligence officers who walk past it every day. The CIA, after all, is home to some of the most brilliant code breakers in the world and Sanborn wanted to create something that would test even their skills. Yet, despite the efforts of some of the best minds in cryptography, the final section of cryptos, known as K4, has resisted all attempts at decryption. The story of cryptos is one of art, mystery, and the unrelenting human desire to solve puzzles. But it's also a story about the evolution of cryptography, the complex relationship between secrecy and knowledge, and the intersection of art and science. In the late 1980s, when the CIA was constructing its new headquarters, the agency wanted to commission an artwork that would reflect the organization's mission. Jim Sanborn, a sculptor known for his work involving codes and hidden messages, was chosen for the task. Sanborn was not a cryptographer, nor did he have a background in intelligence work. He was an artist with a keen interest in history, science, and cryptography. When he was selected to create the sculpture, he decided to embed a challenge within it, something that would reflect the agency's mission of uncovering secrets. Sanborn's idea for the sculpture wasn't just to make an aesthetic statement, but to create a puzzle, one that would be tough enough to intrigue the codebreakers at the CIA. He began working with Ed Scheidt, a retired cryptographer who had once led the CIA's cryptographic division. Together, they designed a series of ciphers that would be integrated into the sculpture, forming a complex, multi-layered cryptographic challenge. Tried to solve this fourth message over the years with no such luck. In 1990, the sculpture was installed in the courtyard of the CIA headquarters, standing at over 12 feet tall. It consisted of several large copper panels arranged in a graceful curve. These panels were inscribed with a series of seemingly random letters. The code, as Sanborn explained, was divided into four sections, each representing a distinct puzzle. The challenge was clear. Crack the code and you unlock the secrets hidden within. But what those secrets were, only Sanborn and Scheidt knew. To understand why Cryptos has captivated so many for so long, we need to delve into the world of cryptography, the art and science of encoding and decoding messages. Cryptography has been used for centuries to protect information from prying eyes, especially in times of war and espionage, from Julius Caesar's cipher in ancient Rome to the intricate codes of World War II. Cryptography has been a tool for governments, militaries, and spies. One of the most famous ciphers in history is the Visionnaire cipher, invented by Blaise de Visionnaire in the 16th century. This cipher uses a series of interwoven Caesar ciphers based on a keyword, making it significantly harder to break than a simple substitution cipher. The Visionnaire cipher would later play a crucial role in the decryption of cryptos. During World War II, cryptography reached new heights with the development of machines like the Enigma, used by Nazi Germany to encode its military communications. The eventual cracking of the Enigma code by Alan Turing and his team at Bletchley Park is often credited with shortening the war by several years. 
After the war, cryptography evolved even further, with computers becoming essential tools in the creation and breaking of codes. It's against this backdrop of cryptographic history that Sanborn designed cryptos. His collaboration with Scheidt ensured that the codes used in the sculpture would challenge even those trained in the latest cryptographic techniques. For nearly a decade after Kryptos was installed, it remained unsolved. People walked by it every day, perhaps glancing at the sculpture without realizing the puzzle hidden within. Jim Gilogli, a computer scientist and amateur cryptographer, was the first to crack the first three sections of Kryptos using computer software and traditional cryptographic techniques. Gilogli identified that the first two sections of the code used variations of the Visionaire cipher. With this breakthrough, the first message was revealed. Between subtle shading and the absence of light lies the nuance of illusion. This poetic statement seemed fitting for a puzzle about perception and secrets. It suggested that the true meaning of cryptos lay not just in the letters themselves, but in the subtle differences between what is visible and what is hidden. The second section, it was totally invisible. How's that possible? They used the Earth's magnetic field X. The information was gathered and transmitted under Grundreiser. Slowly, the unsuspecting encoder drifted instantly to the left and totally unprepared to discover the source so, of the signal unknown. This message, though more technical, hinted at a mysterious method of transmission involving the Earth's magnetic field. It added to the sense that Kryptos was playing with themes of discovery, secrecy, and invisible forces. The third section was perhaps the most dramatic. It contained a passage from the diary of Howard Carter, the British archaeologist who discovered the tomb of King Tutankhamun in 1922. The decoded text read, Slowly, desperately, slowly, the remains of passage debris that blocked the lower part of the doorway was removed. With trembling hands, I made a tiny breach in the upper left-hand corner, and then widening the hole a little, I inserted the candle and peeped in the hot air. Escaping from the chamber caused the flame to flicker, but presently details of the room within emerged from the mist. Can you see anything, Q? This passage described the moment when Carter first glimpsed the treasures inside the tomb, a fitting metaphor for the puzzle of cryptos itself. Like Carter, those working to solve the code were peering into the unknown, slowly uncovering its secrets. With three of the four sections solved, cryptographers turned their attention to the final section, K4. But here, they hit a wall. The fourth section of cryptos, known as K4, consists of just 97 characters. Yet, despite its relatively short length, it has proven to be an impenetrable mystery. For over 30 years, K4 has resisted every attempt at decryption, leaving the puzzle incomplete. One of the reasons K4 has been so difficult to crack is that its structure and cipher remain unknown. While the first three sections used relatively straightforward techniques, like the Visionaire cipher, Sanborn has hinted that K4 may use a more complex method of encryption. This has led to countless theories about what kind of cipher is being used and what the message might be. In 2010, Jim Sanborn offered a clue to those struggling with K4. He revealed that the 64th through 69th characters of the section, when decoded, spell the word Berlin. Four years later, in 2014, he offered another clue. The next word in the sequence is clock. These clues suggest a connection to the famous Berlin clock, a timepiece in Germany that uses lights to display time in a unique format. The mention of the Berlin clock has sparked new theories about the meaning of K4. Some have speculated that the message might be tied to the fall of the Berlin Wall. Others have suggested that the clock's unique way of telling time might be a clue to the structure of the cipher itself. But despite these clues, the full meaning of K4 remains elusive. Sanborn has stated that he designed the puzzle to be solvable, but only after a significant intellectual struggle. He has also hinted that the final message of K4 might be surprising, since perhaps even playful. Over the years, countless theories have emerged about the meaning of K4 and the overall message of cryptos. Some believe that the sculpture contains a philosophical message about the nature of secrecy and the human desire to uncover hidden truths. Others think 
that the message might be more concrete, perhaps revealing a historical reference or a hidden location. One popular theory is that K4 might contain a self-referential message, explaining the process of decryption itself. Sanborn has also hinted that the solution to K4 might involve physical elements of the sculpture itself, suggesting that the placement of the letters or the structure of the sculpture could be part of the puzzle. Some have even speculated that solving K4 could unlock a physical treasure, perhaps hidden somewhere on the CIA's grounds. This idea has fueled the imaginations of amateur code breakers who have scoured every detail of the sculpture for hidden clues. Cryptos has not only captivated intelligence officers and cryptographers, but has also become a global obsession. Thousands of amateur code breakers have taken up the challenge, forming online communities dedicated to solving the puzzle. Websites, forums, and social media groups have sprung up where people share their theories, breakthroughs, and frustrations. One of the most dedicated enthusiasts is Ilanka Dunin, a game developer and amateur cryptographer who has spent decades working on cryptos. Dunin has compiled one of the most comprehensive resources on the subject, tracking every clue, every solved section, and every theory about K4. For Dunin and others like her, solving cryptos is more than just a puzzle. It's a lifelong quest. The allure of cryptos lies not only in the challenge of solving a complex cryptographic puzzle, but also in the mystery of the unknown. Sanborn has stated that he believes K4 will be solved one day, but he has also expressed satisfaction that the puzzle has endured for so long. In interviews, he has hinted that the solution to K4 might be simpler than people expect, but he has remained tight-lipped about what the final message contains. As the years pass, Cryptos remains an enduring symbol of mystery and intrigue. Jim Sanborn, now in his late 70s, continues to watch as cryptographers and hobbyists alike attempt to crack the final section of his puzzle. In interviews, Sanborn has expressed a desire for K4 to be solved during his lifetime, but he has also acknowledged that it might take years, perhaps even decades, before someone finally cracks the code. Sanborn's creation has become a cultural icon, a testament to the power of mystery and the human drive to solve puzzles. It stands as a challenge to those who believe that every secret can be uncovered, every mystery solved, in a world where information is more accessible than ever before. Cryptos serves as a reminder that some secrets are meant to remain hidden, at least for a little while longer. <laughs>